This week at Tomley's, I'm still not well, so this is probably going to be a short one. Not much has happened, really. Is there enough to do a video? Of course there's enough to do a video, and I feel like, because I've already done two of these this week at Tomley's, I feel like I need to try and get them done at least every week for you. There may be a bonus video as well. You might have seen it before this or after this that I'll be uploading of me eating a pizza. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Anyway, not much has been going on. What is it? So at the moment it is five past nine, Saturday evening. A bit of a mess on the side. We're in the middle of the SCX24 build, the Trill upgrade. So a little sneak peek for you here. Look, how nice does that look? So we're halfway through that build. I just had a little issue with the servo, but you need to, I need to modify the original mount just to get it to fit. Other than that, that's going well. Those of you waiting for this, I have some good news. I've got an ESC and motor combo for it. I've gone for the new, or newish, Copperhead from um, Castle. It says Basher Edition, but the reason I got it is because it's got a 5,700 kV motor. The on-road one was like 6,900, but I think um, I didn't want something so uh, so high for KV. I wanted something with a bit of uh, bit of low down power as well. I'm not sure I'm going to run it 2S or 3. This will take 2 to 4. Um, so yeah, we've got, we got options there. But good news, we're halfway there. I've just got to order a servo. I, um, I had to measure to make sure it was a standard size servo, which it is. So I'll get a servo order because I want a decent one. We were going to do a, a decent build on this, weren't we? So I spent a bit of money. And I'll get a decent, uh, maybe a Savox or something to put in there. Lunch boxes are still sitting waiting for me to do something with them. We had the video of this this week. Awesome little thing, this. Oh, actually, is that going to be a better thumbnail? Hmm. World's smallest. <laughs> so they're really cool. We've done them this week. This thing has been out. If you follow the main channel, I think I've put that video up. Well, when you're watching this, obviously not today. Today's Saturday, but um, Sunday, hopefully, you'll be able to see that. That thing just looks amazing it drives well as well i said i've not done much this week it looks like i've actually done quite a bit now my biggest issue this week apart from not feeling it very well is i had to sort the uh, brakes out or i wanted to sort the brakes out on my little Renault that i've got my little um my little daily because they're squeaking the actual brake pads are fine but i wanted to take the wheels off to clean up and you know scrub the discs up with a bit of sandpaper take the pads out put some copper grease in and try and stop them squeaking but I had an issue. Now, just for context, this um, impact gun I've got, this Clark uh, brushless uh, impact gun, this will do 450 newton meters, I believe. 450 newton meters is quite a lot. There's one wheel nut off of the Clio. There's two. Now that didn't break them. I broke them with my breaker bar, but that impact gun should have undone a set of little Renault Clio wheel nuts. There is absolutely no reason why wheel nuts should be that tight. Any of you that work on your cars, any of you car guys out there will know that wheel nuts or hub nuts, lug nuts, whatever you call them, they don't need to be that tight. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm gonna say around 100, just over 100 Newton meters probably. That in pound foot is, again, I'm guessing 60 to 80. I haven't really looked at um, the conversions for quite some time. They should not be that tight that you can shear them trying to undo them. And I was being careful trying to undo them, but you know what it's like, as soon as they go, they go. So that really annoyed me this week. Um, so my, so my Clio is now running with three on the front wheels. But if you think about it, a lot of French cars used to have three wheel nuts anyway. So we're going old school with it. Anyway, that's that. Um, we're taking this out. This is going out tomorrow. Taking this little bad boy out tomorrow to probably the skate park. I've done a little unboxing. Gonna get it out to the skate park. And I've also got my Summit in the boot of my car. But that's coming soon. Actually, you might see that video Friday. So 29th of October. Something is happening on the 29th of October. Not just with me, but across the whole YouTube community. So if I can pull it off, because I'm a little bit rushed, you may see a video from me on the 29th, um, along with probably like 600 other people anyway pizza so you may have seen a video you may not seen a video yet but but the rcu next tuesday you guys done a 24 hour live stream yesterday absolutely epic they done it for charity for cancer research uk they raised i think it was like two and over two and a half thousand pound which is which is way over three thousand dollars so a massive shout out to them um but on the stream they ate a really hot pizza at half each and they uh, they struggled a little bit they did do it though i'll give them that they did do it and i think i made some comment like I'm going to get one of them pizzas and I'll show you how a real YouTuber eats it. 
So yeah, that's the video you're gonna see. And because I like my Clarkson references on that bombshell, I'll see you next week.